So this is called Quality of Life. And I think quite often when I write poems, it's actually sort of something that's working away in the back of my mind that might in other circumstances be a rant. But to just explain a bit of the background, I was sitting on a committee for NICE, which is the National Institute for Clinical Excellence. And I spent about two years on this committee as a service user and so-called expert by experience, drawing up social services guidelines on how you improve the experience of social care for adults. And I came across this concept of a quality, which is Q-A-L-Y. And a quality, a quality is how people measure your life. And there's a, it's basically a financial cost. So this is what this poem is called, and it's called Quality of Life. How much is my life worth, and how can I tell? There's a formula that I know only too well. My life is costed by symptoms, you see, not the value it has to you or to me. You can't fetch top price if you roll round on wheels, even a businessman making big deals. There's a further discount if you can't hold your wee, even if you are an active MP. If you can't see too far or simply can't hear, your life is not considered so dear. There's more off if you need support from another, even if you are a competent mother, and pain is considered a definite no, whether or not people with pain say so. The government costs you before they will give the NHS treatments that you need to live. Your life must be perfect to gain a full quality before you are even put onto a trolley. If you can't leave your house, then your value is cheap. The state won't spend much money for your life to keep. And maybe that's one reason more people die of COVID-19 in the UK. And I am afraid of the verdict if I become ill. Before I sleep, I have miles to go still. We may be a good parent, a partner or neighbour. Whoever we are, we're all more than our labour. Yet whoever we are, our lives are still judged on our cold market value, not how much we're loved. These slavery values must come to an end. What kind of price can you put on a friend? Your brother, your grandma, your child and your wife? How can a price be placed on their life? The values that matter are those we all share. How much we give and how much we care. It's time to abandon the checkbook approach. Love is the quality that matters the most. Thank you and goodbye.